Hello, hello. Happy Thursday. <laughs> Thursday. <laughs> okay, let's get the let's get the link in here. Come on. It always takes like an extra two minutes for me to put this in here, and it's always like, why can't I just plop it in and just pin it and go? <laughs> pin it and go. Come. Awesome. Okay, so I just am doing, I always come on here and sometimes my foundation's already done, but I want to come on here and just show you what I'm like without it. <laughs> so I did half, come on here, half with one and half with the other. And so you can see the coverage. This is the coverage of the, it's called the Magic's Wand. And it's great coverage. I love it. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And a lot of people are like, why is foundation these days so yellow? It's because the yellow helps counteract the redness. Now, I always do a little bit in here. Sometimes I forget. Add a little bit to that, too. Just to blend it on my lids. Okay. So you could use your fingers to smooth it in. But I'm going to use a brush. Blend it in. And it just blocks out. It just blocks out all of... i got to move this slightly. There we go. Okay. It blocks out all of the... Hey! Um, it blocks out... It covers up all the stuff you don't want to see. <laughs> I just took a really long hot shower. So my face was redder than normal. Because <laughs> I... This tis the season. This is, we're now in the, I call it the bursitis season. <laughs> bursitis season. The, the weather changes and the back pain and the shoulder pain and the neck pain starts. And it really went, we went from like, you know, 90 degrees to, you know, then it got a little cooler. Then it was like, okay, I can still deal with this. Bam. Then as soon as it gets like the 50s and uh, 60s, and, and everyone's like, oh, it's great, it's fall, it feels like fall, and I'm like, oh, God, no, you can't take it, so, um, so, yeah, so, yeah, just blending that, and this is all with a few strokes of a magic wand, it's called the Magic's Wand, and these are fabulous, and they come in 16 shades, hey, Jackie, hey, Jessica, hey, and, uh, so a few strokes of the Magic Swan gives you some great coverage. The shade I'm using is Marshmallow. Marshmallow, is that Grenade? <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, I have to put the reading glasses on. <laughs> you think I would know this, but I never really paid attention because I bought it when, yeah. Marshmallow. It's just marshmallow. Oh, the, it's, the word is, it's marshmallow in another language. <laughs> it looks like marshmallow grenade. <laughs> it's marshmallow. <laughs> that would be a funny, that's actually something like a, like a metal band or something. A soft metal band, <laughs> marshmallow grenade. <laughs> okay, so, okay, I'm going to do like a little vintage look. I haven't done a vintage look in a while. So, I thought it would be fun. Little old Hollywood. So I won't do as dark on my brows. I'm actually gonna let's push this hair out of the way. So I move these bangs. Get that out of the way. Now, if you all are following my YouTube after I do this, I'm gonna do a um, a video for YouTube, the YouTube only, straight to YouTube. So you can look for that, and if you're not, you can follow me over there. That would be great. <laughs> A little office space there. If anyone could follow me over there and like and subscribe, that would be just great. <laughs> All right, little eye primer. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna put on my brows too. I'm remembering to put on my brows. <laughs> well, that would be great. <laughs> that cracks me up every time I see those memes. <laughs> All right, let's do, let's get some brows on here. Now, one thing is with vintage, they did thinner brows and they weren't as dark, dark, even if their hair was darker. It was more like a medium brown. 
So I'm going to do like more of a medium brown. I'm going to do this almond. This is the almond biscotti duo, which is in actually in the outlets. But I'm going to use the white of that too because it's a nice matte white. All right, so I'm just going to do, so you can see it's more of a brownie brown. I'm doing a thinner line than what I usually would do. And a little more defined. A little more defined than what I usually would do for my normal look. Because with the with the vintage look, everything was very perfected. It was very and a lot of it was what we saw from Hollywood was a really flawless look. But the average everyday people didn't do as much as that, you know. Maybe they might just do lipstick and powder, you know. Um, but the glam that we know as old Hollywood is, you know, like Marilyn Monroe, Elizabeth Taylor, um, you know, those Dorothy Dandridge, uh, Vivian Leigh, you know, all those, a lot of that was a spanning of, 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 uh, you know, Ginger Rogers, all those, they were spanning a really wide time frame. So sometimes the brows were real thin, so, uh, you know, Marlena Dietrich, th super thin brows, uh, then sometimes they got a, they got a little more arch. They look like almost like a um, I call it a like an apostrophe. <laughs> Called the apostrophe look, and um, yeah. <sighs> so I have a little water in my ear <laughs> to go on and shower. I should have on some cool Hollywood glam outfit, but I don't. <laughs> Just wanted to be comfortable tonight. Just kind of chill. Just a little chill. It's definitely chilly out, that's for sure. <laughs> Man. Do a little bit more here. That's where my brow doesn't grow. Kind of was looking through some old pictures, you know, to sometimes sometimes I'll spend a lot of time just going and saying, which what should I what should I bump up for Flashback Friday or Throwback Thursday or whatever? I'm like, should I do this one? No, my brows are a mess. Should I do this one? No, this is a mess. Should I do this? No, it's a mess. This is a mess. I'm my own worst critic when it comes to that. <laughs> but different times. Different times, for sure. Different standards, different times. That whole time period of we do our front of our hair and just let the back go. <laughs> Not that I can talk right now. I just got to shower. <laughs> and this time was hair was what was hair wash day. Sometimes I'm right in the shower and it's not hair wash day. It's just greasy hair day. But. Um. Or just like, you know, I give my hair a rest. I've been really been good with it. And it, I'm, I'm amazed now. It's getting better. It's getting better. It's getting longer. It's getting stronger. Um, but so, yeah. Okay. So, a little more defined of a brow than what I usually do. And it's got to be flawless. It's got to be flawless, flawless. I see this angle right there. Okay, so then it's always a challenge is getting this angle right there. So that the point is right there. I know, eyebrows are pretty boring, but in a way they're not because this is what's, this is how you get your look. If for one thing, you look younger when your brows are done. And then it actually, it frames everything. So I used to not think about brows. And then when I would think about them, it would be usually like the last thing I would do. Man, I just bumped that. But luckily, yeah, I still have a little foundation on here. This is what, this is what we do here. Okay, so, all right. Now, since I already put primer on, I'm going to take just, so it's super, super light. I'm taking the light of this almond biscotti duo I'm 
And I'm laying this white down first. Yes, I am. You can hear hear that sound. That's the sound of the ironing board. Patrick's doing his ironing. Yes, you have to love a husband who does his own ironing. There we go. Okay, so just doing that white makes a huge, huge difference. Okay. I'm actually looking at my picture of Marilyn Monroe up there. I don't... My hair's too wet to put the wig on, but... Uh, so this is kind of like just an overall vintage-inspired kind of a look. And it takes time to get it all right, you know? It takes time. I always say, makeup's like building a house. You can't just throw thin color on there and expect it to stay without the primer. You know, you can't build a house without the foundation, so you can't put things on and 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 have your own, you know, things not, you know, be leveled off. You know, things have got to be leveled off for a re it's leveled off for a reason. I blot out all that redness and all the craziness first to get you know, and unevenness and, and all that first just to, you know, you know, to get a, to get an even playing field, basically, <laughs> you know, prime. <laughs> all right. So let's do one thing they did back in the day was a lot very, like, it was almost like a lips, their lips were very, very matte. Um, and then actually right by the fifties, you know, if you, Marilyn had a, Marilyn Monroe had like a, a very shiny, shiny lip. So I'm kind of going to do a little bit of an in-between. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to line my lips with a lip stain. And this is our two-in-one. It has a point on one end and a thicker point on the other. Hey! Uh, and I'm going to line my lips with this, even though this is a thicker one. I'm just going to define my lips here. And I'm actually going to go a little higher just to, just because. A little bit more. Oh, I forgot to shake it. <laughs> so the only thing about these is you got to shake it. Even if they're supposed to be drying flat, when when you when you put them away, you don't put them down, or else all the ink will roll down this way. Let's see. And do it flat, and then still, it still helps to shake it up. Oh, I forgot to shake it up. I'm just doing a little bit, a little more down here. Oh, my lips are. This side is always a little thicker, so I even it out by just drawing a little more over here. Just create a create. I'm creating a face, you know. <laughs> if it's not so perfect. Create a new one. <laughs> feel up. You feel like you're up against the wall. Find a way to build a door, right? <laughs> The same kind of thing. <laughs> All right, now I can give myself a little bit more of a a lip. You see, already just doing that, already just doing that. That looks much more like an old-fashioned kind of a face. And actually, it's it's actually the time when my features actually work the best <laughs> with this type of look. All right. Now, this lip color is Red Supreme. I'm going to take Red Supreme, which is a matte. I look like all the girls in my dad's college <laughs> yearbook in the 40s. Because <laughs> most of them were like, hmm, that was it. <laughs> Didn't have a lot of heavy mascara. Hey, Stacy. <laughs> now I'm going over it with Ravishing Rose. Which is a little bit pinker, because I really want us to pop. And a lot of those lipsticks they had back then were like a very bluish red. But you can see even that, just like, oh my god. <laughs> it's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy. Okay, now. One thing I'm going to do 
is they did not do a whole lot in terms of blush. They would call it rouge. And I'm just going to do a little bit of a contour, a little bit of contour, even though they didn't do a whole lot in terms of contour. Let me hear this chip. I'm going to do, this is the Toffee Press Pattern. Now, right now, keep in mind, the Magic's Wand, the Primer, and the Magic's Tint, which is the Tinted Moisturizer. So, depending on how you like your foundation, if you like more of a creamy foundation or more like a tinted moisturizer, a very lightweight tinted moisturizer. All of the Magix products are paraben free, BPA free, and phthalate free. Okay? And so they are vegan. So there's a primer. That's what I put on first. So if you wanted to put the primer down, sometimes you could use just the primer and the Magix tint if you like that, if you have more dry skin. Or for me, I did the Magix wand. There's still a little bit more of a dewy finish because it's a, it's a wand and not just like a cream to powder. Okay, but all of, all of the, that primer, the tinted moisturizer, the uh, Magix wand crayon, are contoured all that powders foundations everything are buy one get one half off right now so this is a great time now taking my contour brush taking a contour brush this is toffee pressed powder I'm actually using this as a very very light just a very light contour just to give myself a little bit so I don't look totally clown because that's the only problem back then they did they they were very they were very into and if anything for years and years and years people would say oh what's your right foundation shade match your hand and go two shades lighter because everybody wanted to go lighter than what they really were um and that was it wasn't until the bronzer look didn't start to come in until way 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 later on so that's the only thing is when there's no definition, I look very, I look much, much rounder. So, um, so with a little bit of definition and a little bit of, just a little bit of, a little bit of something <laughs> gives me a little bit of, it helps, <laughs> just a little bit of depth. Oh no, it's not quite as on trend. It's just a little bit of correction. Because if not, this is why, that's why. It, hey, Marcy, how are you? And everything's a little too wide. <laughs> and I gotta have a little something to slim it down. Okay. It's actually a very simple look because it's mainly, the main thing is, is, foundations um the reds you know the brows a very matte eye and um I'll just contour this a little bit and you can see the difference of what contouring can do it's reducing what you don't want and playing up what you do want <laughs> all right now i'm gonna do light press powder And light is the shade. There's, I have everything from light to medium. I have medium deep. I have the toffee that I just showed, and I have mocha. I have a whole range of things. So I'm just taking a little fluffy brush here just to kind of blend out that contour. Man, I was watching this show. There's a series. Um, there's a series that's on the third part is tonight. I don't know if it's all week or if it's three nights or how many nights it is, but it's on TLC about that those um uh, taking at birth. <laughs> I'm always watching the trash. <laughs> but this is so good. It's like this it's a true story. It's all about these these people that were when they were children they were they were taken um and sold for adoption. Oh, it's a whole thing, but oh my God, it's it, 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 you wouldn't think that a documentary in this small southern town would, would be all that interesting, but it has you edge on the edge of your seat because <laughs> it's like oh my gosh, the more you find out, the more you can't believe it, the more you just like oh my God, the small town doctor and was shady and all this stuff that was going on. All right, I'm just gonna add a little bit more of this uh, toffee. 
toffee frost powder just to have a little bit of blush going on. But that is some dirt. It is so good. But you have to, I would say, watch it from the beginning so you know the whole story. It's by the people who do that long, long lost family. Um, there's ringing, I love that long lost family show on TLC. There's a lot of trash on all those shows with like 90 Day Fiance and all. I, I, I see those ads for those and I'm like, uh uh, I, I can't go there. But I love the long lost family and I love, I like this show because this is like, it's true and it's, it's like going back to a different time when, you know, people kept a lot of secrets and it's uncovering all the secrets. And you know me, I'm, I love all that stuff. <laughs> Okay, so, you yeah, know, that's better. Okay, so, yeah. <laughs> I'm covering all the dirt. So, I can't wait. And the people are so nice. It's the same people that do the long lost family. So, that is, if anybody's watching that, let me know. Because that, uh, that is outrageous. That show is too wild. Too wild for Hollywood. Is what a friend of mine used to say. It's too wild for Hollywood. Because I feel like it is. Because it's something when some stuff that's so crazy. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to go over everything with the translucent press powder. Just to have a little more of a finished look. <sighs> you haven't seen me do red lips in a long time. <laughs> okay, so that toffee that I just had a minute ago. Okay, this will just be... Because basically all they did was... Like, if they did eyeshadow, it would be the the white. It would be um, a very, very medium, uh, kind of like a transition shade. And then it would be the cat eye and mascara, and that's it. Now, if I was doing 20s, you know, a long time ago I did like a 20s thing. Where I did a really, really 20 smoky eye. I did the thin brows and I did this. I'll, ha I'll have to do that one again. But this is kind of like, what, what, when we think of classic Hollywood, we think of like that kind of, kind of look. Now that we're coming into fall, more, more people are liking to do more reds, reds. Now see just a little bit. I'm just... Going into my crease, but I'm kind of just fluffing it out a little bit more. And then I'm taking a wider. You can always just blend that out. Because that was the other thing. The things were impeccably blended. Impeccably. And I'm just doing the translucent powder with this. Just to blend that more. Impeccably. Yes, and I'm using the toffee powder as a shadow. Because, uh... You know, just because it's like, it's just the right shade. You know, it's just the right shade for, to do this. It's really only a couple shades, maybe two or three shades darker than my own skin color. The only thing is that at this age, doing this I always feel like it makes me look older. Just kind of look. You don't have all the shadows and all the stuff that kind of, um, it is what it is. So, I either, I sort of, it's like a mix of looking more baby-faced, more like Cupid all baby-faced, or a little older because of, um, and so much more, so much more pale. But that was the look, you know? And that was the only thing, though. When people get, once they hit, that's why they, once they hit a certain age, boom, you know? But a lot of it had to do with how they did their makeup, looks great on a super super young face um and they didn't have you know as many tricks you know if you were <laughs> i've all seen if you were over something if you're, if, once you you, you know and, uh, especially now it's like so nice to see all those um rules being broken <laughs> We've got more romances for people over 50 on, in the movies lately I've seen in the 60s. <laughs> There's always that movie. There's always got Guy and Keaton and somebody. <laughs> Meryl Streep and somebody. Or somebody and... You know. 
I'm trying to think. All those different Susan, Sarandon, and somebody. They're all they're all over sick. And they've got all these, you know, little cute little romances. I was like, yeah, it's never too late, you know. <laughs> all right, so in a way, that's that's good. And plus, everybody looks younger too, more active, healthier. Plus all the <sighs> procedures. <laughs> okay, so. So, so, so. Next thing. Now, I, if I wanted to add just a touch of gloss, if a touch of gloss would be more like Marilyn. I'm looking at this. I've got this picture of Marilyn Monroe on my wall here. It's the opposite of me. Right? And she did have a little that, that of the glam. And that actually, as color movies came in, they kind of upped it. It was like, <laughs> my friend if, if Michael's on here and gets on here it, we used to be like the first time we both saw I guess was it something like it hot and she was like where's my ukulele you know? <laughs> we'd be like oh. <laughs> but you know the thing is you have to be smart to play dumb Suzanne Summers through that Marilyn Monroe played that. You have to know the timing. You have to know what you're doing to play, to play that type of character. It takes a it takes a lot more work than it you know. <laughs> okay, so what am I gonna do? Okay, now for the scary stuff. Now there is no hide because usually I can hide if I've got some dark shadow on. If I've got dark shadow on, I can kind of just fudge this. But no fudging. All right, just, just right away went a little too high, but it's okay. I'll salvage it. This is what is this? <laughs> the precise liquid pen, the super extend precise liquid pen. Okay, that's a rhymes. This is the Avon super extend, and I am amazed at how nice this glides on. The hardest thing is not blinking with this eye and concentrating on what I'm doing. That's the other thing. Okay, so very thin at the cor in the inner corner to wider. And then you kind of color it in like it's a coloring book. <laughs> yeah, well, it definitely does have that vintage feel. You know, back then they hardly hardly ever put anything underneath, but I always put a little bit under. And sometimes they would do, it would be more like the brown shadow. So they would do like the brown here a little bit, you know, a little bit. Now the question will be, can I do it on the other side? Take me to the other side. Singing Aerosmith while I'm doing a 50 cat eye. Oh. Oh. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. There we go. And so you can see it's short little strokes. Now, some people do it where they do the outline the whole time and then they fill it. But I, my hand is not that steady to draw that whole thing and then, and, and then have it be wide and then fill it all in. I, I I do better with a short little short little strokes. Okay, no starts wondering because all this concentration. Whoops! All right, right here is where I mess up a lot because this eye has a little bit more of a crinkle on this side. <laughs> Just had a vision of Steven Tyler dancing on stage. <laughs> that was one of the that was one of the first concerts Patrick and I went to was uh, Aerosmith. It's where our music taste one of the bands that are, we both like, where our music tastes overlap. <laughs> okay. There we go. <sighs> okay, now we can breathe. Can breathe, can breathe, <laughs> deep breath. It's so stressful, you know. No matter how many times I do it, it's still stressful because it has to be so exact, and it's still not quite as exact here. 
But, you know, pretty good, pretty good. He not only irons his own laundry, he puts his, all his clothes away. So nice. <laughs> Hi, honey. <laughs> Oh, I gotta do my ironing. <laughs> We're dating. I'd be on the phone with him while he was doing his ironing, and I'd be like, "Oh, that's so amazing! I mean, we never met a man that did his own ironing." I'm like, "This is a gift. <laughs> it's a gift." <laughs> okay. All right, now. Whoops. I have got to move this away, so I keep picking this up instead of the mascara. All right, that's going over there. Love it for Slash. I wish Avon... Avon sometimes has had false, false lashes. And I could be playing with some. It wouldn't matter if I did one or two things. Or I, whoops. Made a boo-boo. Made a boo-boo. Make a boo-boo. Not a kissy. <laughs> oh, is it? When I was little, every furry animal is a boo-boo. It's like, oh, look at that boo-boo. And it's a, so every dog I have, even though whatever their name is, I still call by their name, but I was like, oh, that's boo-boo, that's boo-boo. <laughs> so when I make a mistake, it's, <laughs> that's a boo-boo. Well, that's Bebo and boo-boos. And see, you can see how exact you have to be with even things like Mascara, because there's no hiding it. And there's no hiding it. So, I have to use my lash separator. No hiding it. There we go. Go backwards. I always forget about to do that. I'm always so busy going up, up, up. Add a little bit more to the other pieces. That's what I do. If I get, I get, if I get a really thick spot... I just make the other pieces thicker. <laughs> right there. Ooh, see, see this how this love at first lash. Now it's really not. I should have been doing this more on the edge there. Yeah, because it was what they did back then was a little more to the side. It was more like that. I wasn't even thinking Hollywood when I was doing my lashes. I was just out of habit. But I'll do a little more this way. <laughs> Regular habits are hard to break, right? <laughs> habits are hard to break. And I'll see, that's what I do. I hit it right when, if I make a little, if I get a little line or a little thing, hit it with a Q-tip first. Right now, I'm just going to go with a, um, this is the True Color Super Volumizing. But I, what I like about this is it has these comb attachments, which are really great at lash separation. There we go. Yeah. And I really, I didn't do that much underneath, so I'm just going to do a little bit more on the edge here. That ridge. There we go. Whew. <clears throat> it's amazing. It's amazing what these, what you can get your lashes to do. <laughs> oh, my little baby here is coming in. If everybody could share my videos every time they come on, that would be great because the um, that way anyone who might be stumbling upon your page while I'm live would be fantastic. That would be great. And I'm going to do, I'm gonna also, after I do this, I'm going to go to YouTube. And I'm going to make a, a special video just for my YouTube subscribers. And 
So this is kind of going to be doing more content over there, just like mixing it up. Sometimes over there, sometimes here, and and always once I do something over there, I you know post it over always over in the VIP, so that way I can get more views of it on the the YouTube and all that. And if you're watching this and you're not my VIP, message me and I can add you. Add you in, because that's where I'm doing. I'm gonna be well. When I'm looking for my next party hostess, if someone wants to be the next party, hey Claudia, I was just saying, if somebody wants to be the next party hostess, I haven't done. Some people did a one parties a while back, but it's always good to do another one. Lots of good new fall things coming out, and lots of holiday, holiday, holiday. <laughs> That's a holiday stuff. Holiday. Lots of fun holiday. Well, Halloween's a holiday, too. But they didn't really have the... Oh, they have the fall candles, but we don't really have as much Halloween like as we have had in the past. It's because they did so much for, the Chris, for Christmas and winter. I call it winter holidays. Because it's a mixture of a bunch of things. Mm, look at this. Just fantastic. Ready for my cleanse up, Mr. DeMille. <laughs> Camera ready. <sighs> Camera ready. Are we Camera ready. <laughs> I gotta get camera ready. Sometimes I'm camera ready. I get myself camera ready before I come on here. But this time, I, I if you if you go back and watch from the beginning, I'm just going over a little bit more with a little more uh, powder, pressed powder. Um. Yeah, and see that really makes the look more put together. Um. But if you go back from the beginning, you'll see I did half. I started, it came on with half my face. Nice red. Oh, thanks, thanks. Um, I came on with half my face. I had drawn on foundation on one half and then my face without foundation on the other half. I just had primer on, but I had taken a really long hot shower. So it was really, really big. So I really wanted to show the coverage of the magic wand, magic wand. <laughs> and uh, all that. All that in a bag of chips. <laughs> Come on here and thinking she's all that in a bag of chips, right? <laughs> a hair makes a huge difference, right? <laughs> just letting it air dry tonight. But just having <laughs> yeah. really just frame the face as <laughs> when it's all back and it's just like oh. but hair is you have to have a special kind of a face to to be, to not have any hair and have all your hair pulled back and have it look good. But <laughs> hair styles work wonders. Okay, now I oh I know what I forgot to do. I forgot to go over my mascara with this. Now this one has not been. Sometimes it's been shown in the main catalog and sometimes it hasn't. But you want to check. You want to check my website's down below. Websites down below, and the link to join is down below. <laughs> and if you want a discount, you want a good discount, and this is the time to join because that way you earn some money for the holidays, and then you will, and then and then you get your Christmas gifts at a discount. So you know it's a win win, <laughs> win 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 win. Break that up a little bit. There we go. That's amazing. It's amazing what makeup can do. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. The miracle of makeup. That's what I should call this a. Uh, call this a uh, show. A cream miracle every day. A miracle makeover. I watch all those makeovers. I watch them on Rachel Ray. It's the only time I watch Rachel Ray is she's doing fashions or makeovers. Sometimes I'll watch it where, unless she has a guest on that I like. So, I mean, because I used to watch her show all the time for the cooking. And I pretty much, like, 
scene, you know, you kind of get to a point where I, I know her, her style and, 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 you know, and bit and kind of learn all the tricks. And then, unless it's something new that I want to learn how to make. But, um, but I always watch all, and then the makeovers, the Today Show between 10 and 11 always has good makeovers too, like of hair and makeup and, you know, they'll show the difference in the clothes or, um, you know, so it's always fun to see there was before and afters, but, you know, all you have to do is start in my video in the beginning and see a before and after and see what I'm able to do. And, uh, and then you can create these looks too, you know, for these techniques and, and uh, have fun, have fun. Cause it's all about having fun with the makeup, you know? Makes such a difference having it, you know. So it's actually definitely a more classic look. You know, it's not twenty different shadows. This was two shadows, and getting the cat eye liner down. You know, and it was two reds. Well, actually three reds. I lined my lips with the two and one, the lip stain. Then I did the red supreme, which is the deeper red. It's a little bit more like it's it's kind of like it's an, it's not a or it's kind of like in between. There's an orangey red and bluer red, and this is totally in between. And then I put the red supreme on top of it. Or I mean, uh, the ravishing rose on top of the red supreme, which is this one. You see, on by itself would be a little too pinky, and this by itself might be a little too orangey. But I put these two together. And right now the lipsticks are two for eleven. So if you wanted to get this these two and create this your own look with this, this is the time to do it because two for eleven. I mean, and these are great, gorgeous matte lipsticks. Okay, gorgeous color. They stay on forever. They're just and then and then this is on also on sale. Two. Um, let me just show you. Where's the book? Where's the book? Hello. Oh hi, sweetie. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> All right, I'll show you <clears throat> the lippies. Like I said earlier, the Magix tint, the Magix prime, and the Magix wand all on sale. Buy one get one half price. So you could get pay for the primer and get the Magix wand half price. So the primer's fourteen. You get a Magix. You get a foundation for seven. Same thing with the Magix tint. If you want a tinted moisturizer. So it's like you're getting for fourteen and seven for twenty one dollars. You get a you get a, a great foundation and a great primer. You know you can't beat that. Okay, so the lips, the lips, the lips, lips. Okay, so the uh, two and one lip tattoo. Any two for seventeen, along with the true color lip gloss. So you could get two of these, one of each of these, or two different colors of these if you wanted to do that. And all of the lipstick, our lipsticks, lipstick, lipsticks, <laughs> our stick lipsticks are all 2 for 11. So I use two of the matte shades that are right here. They're regularly $10. So 2 for 11, it's like you're getting the second one for a dollar. Okay, how amazing is that? Okay, so good. So good, good, good. Okay, so a little... Um, a little, you can see all my baby hairs coming back. Yay! A little bit of finishing spray. I don't know why I'm putting that on because I'm just gonna go to bed. I'll, I'll keep it on for a couple hours now. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do another video. So do another video for YouTube. But, okay. So anyway, hope you all. I did this lighting a little bit more adjusted here. So yeah, this would, would be like, they wouldn't have hair this messy curly, but it would be a little more controlled and it would be kind of like more under like that. So it just kind of be more, you know. Sometimes they did the bangs more like, more like this, more like a roll. But yeah, this is definitely a, uh, it's definitely an old Hollywood look. <laughs> And it's fun to try something different, you know, it's very, it's very classic look, it's very, I mean, you see a lot of different people, 
Um, it it never goes out of style. It you see it still on the red carpets. You see celebrities with this look always. You see, uh, you know, you see. I even see, you know, young girls going to homecoming doing this look, because you know I see brides asking for this look. I mean, there's it's between this and that other video I did about my most requested look with the new, you know, the the smokier uh, browns and the more kind of neutral nude, kind of warm nude lips. That's it, you know. <laughs> it's those are these are the most these are the most popular looks ever, you know. And they they won't you know they look great on all skin tones. They go, oh thanks thanks they look great on all skin tones. They work with everybody, and I think that's why they never really go out of style because people love the classics, and you know it just it just works, you know. <laughs> it really does. It works. It works. It works, it works, and then you can work it. <laughs> and it works with casual stuff, like if I just had on, like, you know, if I had on, like, a leather jacket right now, and, like, this gray t-shirt, it would work. If I had on, like, something lacy or sequin, you know, it works with so many different, and that's the other thing, same thing with that other most requested look. It works with so many different outfits, it's not something like... Fifty Shades of Blue, or <laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey, or, um, or, you know, you know, it, it works with so many different types of clothes, too, and different types of, of, of style, so it can be, the style looking look more classic with, like, if, you know, pearls with a sweater, cardigan sweater, or it can, you can make it look rocker, depending on what you have on, so it go, it can go a lot of different tastes, and, and a lot of different, uh, a lot of different looks so anyway i hope you enjoyed this video and and if you have any questions about any products message me or you know just shop the links i was you know watch me on youtube i always have my info below um and if you have any questions about the opportunity or you're interested you know message me and i can you know answer any questions you might have and uh, i'd love to have you join my team so great so hope you all have a wonderful evening and i'll see you next time take care thanks bye